Greetings. My name is Jim Malloy. I'm the commander of U.S. Navy's 5th Fleet. The USS Indianapolis legacy is a part of our history and heritage. We speak of it in whispers as we recall a story of tragedy, but also a story that personifies honor, courage, and commitment. A story of heroes. While it provided painful lessons for our Navy, it also strikes at the heart of enduring key concepts. Readiness of the individual, the crew, and the ship, leadership, and the responsibility of those in command, and ultimately, individual sacrifice, resilience, and selflessness. Tradition and history play a big role in our Navy as we stand on the shoulders of those patriots who answered the call at sea in times of great crisis, especially those who paid the ultimate sacrifice that we might live free. In large and small ways, we remain connected with our past, whether through naming ships like the USS Indianapolis or through ceremonies such as line crossings or changes of command. Part of the reasons we observe these customs is to honor our past and learn from it and recognize that what made those sailors special are the things that we should aspire to today, especially today. Indianapolis was sailing what was the Fifth Fleet Area of Operation in the Pacific in World War II, and today I proudly serve as the Navy's Fifth Fleet Commander, now focused on the Middle East. As I think about thousands of sailors I am responsible for, the lessons and legend of Indianapolis are never far from my mind. Nor is the loss of the Fifth Fleet staff who were serving on Indianapolis the day she sank. Sadly, none of them survived. Let's take a moment to honor them. Lieutenant Commander Cedric Foster Coleman, Seaman Second Class Pat Leon Adams, Radio Technician First Class Robert Craig Barker, Jr., Seaman Second Class William Hearn Bradley, Radio Technician Third Class Arno John Telford, Radio Technician Third Class Ray Gunther Wenzel, on this day, when we pay reverence to our Navy heroes, your sacrifice is not forgotten. You are not forgotten. Thank you.